CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 86 through 90. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 86. A programmer is designing an application that must display text in multiple languages, including non-Latin characters. Which of the following should the programmer use to handle international text data? The answer is D. Unicode. Unicode is the recommended format for handling international text data because it provides a unique value for every character across various languages, including non-Latin characters. This ensures that text is consistently represented and displayed correctly across different platforms and devices internationally. Question 87. In a disaster recovery exercise, a company is directed to recover customer data before restoring operational data. What concept does this illustrate? The answer is C. Prioritization. The concept illustrated is prioritization. In the context of disaster recovery, it means determining the order in which data or systems are restored after a disruption. By choosing to recover customer data first, the company is placing a higher importance on that data compared to operational data. Question 88. Which two operating systems can run programs without needing file extensions? Choose two. The answer is B and E. Unix and Linux. Unix and Linux operating systems utilize a mechanism, called a shebang, to determine how a script should be executed. This approach allows Unix and Linux systems to execute scripts based on their content and a specified interpreter, rather than requiring specific file extensions. Question 89. A technician is tasked with setting up a wireless router for a customer that has a maximum throughput speed of 11 megabits per second and works on the 2.4 GHz frequency band. Which router type was selected for this installation? The answer is B. 802.11b. The 802.11b standard is a wireless networking protocol that operates on the 2.4 GHz frequency band and offers speeds up to 11 megabits per second. Given the specifications mentioned, 802.11b is the appropriate choice for a router that meets these requirements. Question 90. Which of the following combinations would be classified as multi-factor authentication? The answer is D. Smart card and a PIN. Multi-factor authentication enhances security by requiring users to provide multiple methods of verification. In the case of using a smart card combined with a PIN, it represents two distinct factors, the smart card is something you have, and the PIN is something you know. This combination ensures that even if one method is compromised, unauthorized access is still hindered by the need for the other verification method. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.